Creating new databases and managing existing databases is very simple on the Cloud Sites platform. Let me show you how. In the control panel, if we click on the hosting button and then click on Cloud Sites, let's go ahead and just pull up one of our existing domains. Under the domain administration page, click on features. And the very first section under the features page is the database administration section. As you can see, we have no existing databases. Let's go ahead and just create a new database for the purposes of this demo. Let's call this database test. MySQL 5 will be fine. Create our database user as well. And then our database password. The system only takes a few quick moments to provision that database and then we can go ahead and either install a new web application on top of that database uh, or directly access that database through our web administration tools or through any uh, third party remote uh, MySQL administrative tools such as Navicat or many of the others out there and I'll actually show you both of those. So as we can see the database has finished provisioning. Uh, we have the checkbox in the green there showing us the uh, uh, complete status. If we click on the domain, it will show us the actual um, database information directly. We see the database name, the internal host name of the database, as well as a direct link to our online manager and the direct IP address if we want to hook in uh, from a uh, remote administration tool. Uh, it is important to note that within your web applications, any configuration files, anything internal to the Mosu platform, make sure that you use the host name that we provide here in the control panel for you. And then if you're connecting remotely to the database, then you can use the direct IP address. Uh, so as we can see, um, our database that we just provisioned uh, belongs to the MySQL 50-14 cluster. If we go ahead and launch the uh, web administration interface, which is uh, PHP MyAdmin, which you might be familiar with, uh, since, uh, all we need to do actually is drop down the um, cluster menu here and choose MySQL 50-14, grab our database name, and then type in our password and we're logged in. It's uh, that simple. We can see the database listed here on the left hand side. As we can see there's no table since it's just a fresh clean um, freshly provisioned database. And let's go ahead and pull this up in a uh, remote administration tool. I will actually show you how to do that with Navicat. Uh, you may or may not be familiar with this tool but uh, most of them function very similar. Uh, so we'll create a new connection. We'll drop in our database name. Go back to the control panel and grab the uh, alternate host name, which is the IP address of that cluster. Well, let's call this demo and put in our database password once again. And here we see the uh, all the databases listed uh, under this account here. Uh, once again, you know, if we had um, some tables or a web application installed, you would see that populated here, uh, but since it's a clean database, uh, we do not. Uh, but it's just that simple to log in uh, and manage your databases either through PHP MyAdmin, which we have installed server-side for you, or link in with any uh, supported third-party uh, database administration tool.